newer panels. I'm gonna want new ones. Uh, how about redoing them? They're, they're like paper thin. I don't know if are these original. They're so. They almost like fiberglass. Is that just sun damage? Is sun that bad? I do like the wood grain. I want to keep that or get new ones. Maybe keep it for now. Uh, there's so many different brands that make these. People complain about them being, they don't fit nice. This one doesn't look like it fits nice. Uh, one didn't come with the rain guard that went up here. It stopped like here. Um, be nice to just cover these too. Like I'm going to try with the dash and vinyl. Hmm. I don't know. Let me get it off to see what it looks like. Maybe I can tell if it's aftermarket or not. Well, if you don't have a tool for this, you just take a shop rag. And the clip is on the inside like that. Pull it taut. And the clip goes bang, and you lose it and you gotta look for it. But or you could just put your hand there. I was told they uh, did the window regulators. That's cool. And these look on the inside they just look more plasticky and fiberglass. And I think these are all original you know, GM numbers. I don't think an aftermarket would tell you all that info. And it's Christmas shine. Um, up, up top, they're just sun damage. You put a hole in through them. I don't know if you really wanted to keep it original. Epoxy that from behind, sand it, paint the whole thing. Which I would like to do. Be a fun little project. But this side is. This side's the good side. The uh, driver's side is I mean, just worn right here, like a hole. You can see it. Hmm. I really want a bench seat. I want a factory, but seems too low. I feel like a cholo driving it. <laughs> so I took off the weather strips for the doors today and soaked them in. 303 protectant. Yeah, they look, came out great. <coughs> they were in pretty good shape already. And I don't think I did see here is a little bit of white overspray. That's, so I think that was the driver's side. I think that, you know, this used to be white trim down it. That's the only evidence of any body work. Well, it's not anybody work. I'm looking at some right there. Big crack. Tells me body filler, maybe? I don't know. But other than that, she's a nice truck. For sure. And there it is. Looking good. I guess I didn't notice this is where the overspray was. Uh, a little, some evidence of something going on here. Some paint. I mean, obviously the truck was painted black, so yeah, it was painted. But uh, yeah, these are in really good shape. I don't know if they're original anymore. Cut that door panel off. They're not bad. <laughs> Except for this one's real bad, but this is the only part that, that I can fill. From behind, epoxy, smooth it out, paint it this a little more work it's so thin look at that it's just sun damage jeez yeah i'll see what i do I could always fix them and sell them 100 bucks somebody would buy them right hey right everybody I'll try and get this microphone up closer testing one two three i'm gonna uh do a little epoxy on this door panel. This is inside, it's upside down. I want to fill that gap. So I'm going to put a little paper, some duct tape, painter's tape, you could have some. And then I have some epoxy um, I'm going to put in. Actually, I'm going to put the epoxy, I'm going to do this on the opposite side. Epoxy from this side, put the tape on the other side so it doesn't ooze through. And uh, see, see if this does anything. 
I tried this stuff on some plastic, hard plastic on my car trim, and it didn't hold up. But I have it. I'll try it. If it doesn't work, I'll get some better stuff. And there you have it. Just mixed up a little spoon for my uh, junk plastic. Just laid it right in there. Nice bead. I'll drop it down so it's level. Or raise it up so it's level. And I don't want it to fall in that. And I'm going to clean up my mess. And we'll see how that goes. Hopefully that'll give me a nice something sandable. Maybe another little bit on. I, maybe I should have left the tape. A l I put it a little loose. But maybe a little bit to come through. So I have something to sand down to. But we'll see. Now, right, we're looking at this door panel. This is where I was doing that epoxy. Let's see what she looks like. Oh, again, I gotta look through the lens. Sorry about that. Here's the little piece of paper I put. It's probably gonna, I'm gonna sand it all off anyway, but yeah. That's a nice, <clears throat> came up a little bit. It's still not cured. It's a little, I'll give it to the end of the day. But I'm going to sand that. <laughs> Smooth anyway. I think I should put on some nice thick. I'll lose that texture probably if I go too thick with stuff though, huh? I think they make like a ripple paint. Well, there's a method you can do. Um, let's see the back side. Side there. The rest of it's pretty thick. I think the only place it was thin was over here. I think it's fattened up. Maybe when I put it back together, put some padding up in there. Like real thin stuff. Um, usually there's a piece of felt around here anyway. But yeah, I mean, this is, this is still in good shape. It's just it was thin up top. But I think some coats of paint. They make like epoxy paint. Don't they make some heavy stuff? Do like a heavy coat? You could even do a piece of vinyl up here, I was thinking. Vinyl, the wood grain, and paint. I don't know. Some options. Uh, yeah. I'm not going to throw them away. Not yet. <laughs> All right, this is the driver's door. This one is the real bad. Up front, very, very flimsy. Burned all the way through here, here, coming apart here. So with this one, I think we're gonna have to do is give it some uh, material some screen epoxy some screen and epoxy in together maybe even same thing here because it's so thin it's a little rigid but I yeah, still think it's triable why not if not I uh, sell them uh, a cheap price to somebody else oh there she is there she is. I went ahead and started the dash. Yeah, it's not soft. I was remembering it being a lot harder, but look at it. It's just soft. Once I plane that smooth. Oh, yeah, that's going to be nice. I missed one little thing, but I can fill that in with uh, maybe this black epoxy. I'll show you. I picked up this. Black epoxy from two part JB Weld. And I did the second door panel. Oh, yeah, that's, that's nice. Look at it. I can't even put my fingernail in it. Oh, that's good. That's going to make that nice and rigid. Oh, yeah. I got to look through the camera. I keep doing that. I look with my eyes and I put the camera down here. So I got to look at the camera which in this case is an old iPhone. So 
a little sticky over there. That is, I think I did that one first. But anyway, sweet. Um, let's see if that came through. Yeah, obviously it came through. That's going to be nice. And I did the underside of the door handle. Don't mind the tape stuck to it. But that little, uh, I had a piece there. I do need to fill in there just so the bolt doesn't pull through. But uh, yeah, the black, I like the black a lot better. This, this stuff is way better. Where's my other panel? The other panel is vaporized. Oh yeah, it's down here. This one I did with the clear. That's just the paper. This one finally hardened up. Okay, because it was soft yesterday. Oh, that's hard too. Uh, I wonder if that's even harder than this. It's had a little more cure time, but it's it's a clear and it was a different epoxy. It was the JB Weld for the black. And this other one, I think, was just a uh, Harbor Freight epoxy. 90 second. This is 15 minutes or so. But that's very cool. And I just wanted to check the uh, status of this stuff today. I've got some other stuff to do. Yeah, I think if I cut this smooth, sand it. And I really think I'm going to get the vinyl and just lay it over. It's the same material. It's just a matter of getting it so you don't get wrinkles, creases, which can be a little difficult. But I'm up for the challenge. All right, what else am I going to do in this quarantine? All right, I hate to do it, but... It's scraping the wood grain off this. It was chipped in a few places, actually. My whole dash is broken right there, actually. Gonna have to do a piece of repair there. But, uh, so yeah, so scraping it all off. Razor blade. A little patience. And if I paint the whole thing. You know, I honestly forgot that this corner was broken on this dash. If this stuff dries, this epoxy, it dries so dark black. I wonder. I'll take my buddy Gorilla Glue. If I just fill in that corner, I could shape it. Eh, it's worth a try, right? <laughs> that mixed up nice. I think that's gonna work. I just uh, made that little cup as you saw. Pulled it in there. Wrapped it over, wrapped it over, kind of kept the shape of that corner. Taped it down, got it nice and level. Let's we'll see how that dries up. That would be really cool. Um, yeah, still gonna still put a. Um, what can I put in there? I'll put something right there to build that up with the plastic. Probably on both of these. Maybe just a washer. That's all that was. That's like a metal. I did two metal washers. Epoxy them down. Yeah, that's been good. All right, I'm going to see how this cures up. And maybe I'll do the same treatment on this door panel. Get that nice and straight. Come in from underneath. And just build up that whole area. It dries hard as a rock, so. Yes. Yeah, originally I was going to put some like, screen to build up. I still could do that. Some screen and mesh in there. And then epoxy. Let's see if I have any screen around. I got this. But this is. Um, like fiberglass. I was thinking more of a metal screen. And yeah, that might be a good idea. All right, let's see how this came out. Like my band aid. 
the paper cut with a razor. Let's see what I can do. Yeah, I'm gonna need two hands. Wow, that's just the paper right there. But I would say this worked. That is hard as a rock, this stuff. Uh, looks like my trim line right there is a little off, but that's okay. Um, yeah, it looks like if I sand this smooth, paint it, try and get that ripple effect. Damn. This might be my new go-to stuff. Very cool. Let's check the door panel. There it is, the door panel. Oops. The last one I did. I'm going to do a little bit on top here, fill in that, looks like. But like, this is all oozed through from the other side. It's raised up a little bit so I can sand it. That's the back side, that lower one here. Those I did earlier. And this is where I'm going to fill in, like I just did with the bezel. Make this corner. I think that came out really good. So, JB Weld, guys. JB Weld Plastic Bonder. Black. I like the black. So, let's check it out. It's good stuff. And back over here in the door panel department. Filling in this corner, gonna make that corner piece, and I think it looks good. But yeah, it's gonna be nice. I'm really impressed by this stuff. I think I said that 18 times now. All right, door panel, and and one more epoxy job, an epoxy washers in place. So I phrased a little like so I repaired that one. That one's still good. Level that one out. And do the other armrest. Bam bam. I'm gonna sand it down that corner. Focus here. Don't look so bad, right? You can give it some razor marks trying to match that um, finish. Um, mm, this is like a semi gloss paint, right? I wouldn't call that flat. I have some gloss. Maybe I'll just paint this corner, see what it looks like. I can always sand it down. Well, I think these came out pretty damn good for being garbage. To some people fill that in there's some low spots um, my fingers so I can focus but that is a I don't know if primer would fill that in I don't know if, I'm not a body guy obviously I think I still need the you know, like some putty to fill in the low spots so when you paint it you don't see that but um, that would be my understanding gotta have it as smooth as possible well, this one was the passengers. This wasn't too bad. And I just sanded down the drivers. Uh, made this corner pretty much this corner I made. No. I filled in all that. And this is the corner I made. It's all filler. <laughs> all the two part epoxy. It worked out really good. I'm gonna drill a hole for the door lock, a hole saw, or a step bit. Um, man, get some paint on there. I think you won't get that alligator finish though. That's where you gotta uh, do something different. Um, somebody did some bed liner paint, but that stuff's hard to. I, mean, I don't think it's like grip grip tape. It's not comfortable. I was wondering if undercoating, rubberized undercoating is stays soft, doesn't it? Well, I might experiment with something like that. We'll see. Yeah. Save those panels. 
for now. All right, I think she's done prepping. I think I'm going to do a hammered metal look. Give it a nice ripple. Can you see the ripple? There's the ripple. It's pretty close to what's on there, so. Well, that really is an alligator look, but I'll see what this does. This will be softer than uh, bed liner. Alright, started these couple of coats. I think I said I was going to do this hammered metal look. That's that corner I made again. Looking good. Door panels. The best is down here. I did sanding, some marks, of course, still, but is this one I made, the whole corner? I don't know, I think it looks pretty good. It's gonna look good, it's gonna look good. So. Note to self, that Bondo putty I was using is not for this purpose. Uh, of course I forced it, I was trying to, I gotta grind down, that epoxy worked great. Oh well. Back to prep.